Hallo alle zusammen and welcome to my second challenge of uh, doing fearless things. So actually today is the day I'm not going to use electronics for the whole day. After making this video, I'm going to give my phone to my friend Saua and I can't use my laptop, I can't use my phone, I can't use an iPod, Kindle, anything for a whole day. So that's going to be a big challenge because we are going from Portugal to Spain today. We are transitioning. Da ist mein Zimmer, there is my room. You see here, it's my stuff. So, and we are transitioning, so we are going to the airport and everywhere, and I can't use electronics at all. So, why are you doing this challenge? Because I'm very attached to my phone and also to my laptop, and I kind of want to see how it goes if I don't have my phone and my laptop for a whole day. And I'm a bit paranoid almost of losing, I think all the time, oh god, if I lose my phone or if I lose my laptop or somebody steals something, I'm very worried about that. So I want to see how it goes if I have if I don't have my phone and my laptop and or other electronics for a whole day. And I think it's going to be nice to connect with people more and be a little bit more in the moment and see how that goes. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry, wait, Anya, why are you upset right now? Two people on the phone. Andy, my coach, he's doing the same challenge as me. He's also no electronic <laughs> phone. He's, he's just sitting here. How do you call this in English? Beginning? No. Twiddling our thumbs. Twiddling our thumbs. I'm getting nervous. I'm singing. I want to take pictures and look up stuff on Google. What can you do? What can I do? Talk to people. I can talk to people. <laughs> <laughs> it's hard, but I like it. I'm Still talking to people seat. and like I'm good. I'm socializing and you know doing other things. I'm gonna buy a book in the airport now. A wow. real physical, like a real book. Have you guys ever seen one? <laughs> All right, Anya, checking in from the lounge. Um, yeah, we're just sitting here. I'm a bit bored. Oh, I can move this. <laughs> She's entertained. No, 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 no. I found something. To, yeah, that's it. With my phone, I would have never known. <laughs> I'm just so bored that I started moving. Shh, Anya's sleeping. Wake up, Anya! It's time to fly. <laughs> Anya has no phone. Yeah. It's been maybe five hours, six hours yeah. with her phone. Yeah. She's already going crazy Long. and is so bored. <laughs> If I was by myself, this whole challenge would be much harder, but I have a lot of friends with me, so it's easier. I have people to talk to. Go on, you go! <laughs> go! Valencia! Let's finish with Anya! With the challenge. The biggest problem is actually that I can't be productive. That That's annoying me. It's not so much checking social media. It's mostly about that I want to work. So, but it's Saturday, so I should take the day off, right? Right. But otherwise I'm doing fine, and now I'm gonna buy a book, a real book. Where are we going? Where is a bookstore? That's so strange. Oh, books, books. Look guys, this is the only selection for English books. Is that good? No. <laughs> I like your favorite books. Oh yeah, I love Have you read this one? No. That's it's a good, good one. Oh yeah, oh. I like him very much. Oh, Have this you is my, my PL, my um, my program leader from remote here. Her name is Helena. My, my name is from, my PL. <laughs> she is from Croatia, as all Croatians are. It's not how good you are, it's how good you want to be. I want to be very good. It's a bestseller. This one? But only because you read it, you don't know what's on it. Yeah. I'm gonna get this one because we're going to South Africa in December. So let's see what it's like. Thank you very much. 
<laughs> In Portuguese. Muito obrigada. <laughs> Hasta luego. What is this? I need to cut in the line. Auch mal Tattoo Night in Porto Valencia zu sehen. Ganz schön, wie der Zoom etc. Wow, look at all those cameras. There's three of them. I'm celebrating Anya coming out on YouTube by watching RuPaul. <laughs> We're in Spain. Oh. <laughs> Woo, we just arrived. It's so nice. Woo. I can use my phone again. <laughs> I did it. This is one of the rooms. This is another room. Woo. Das kleine Bad. Ah, hier ist noch ein kleines Bad. Uh, und das ist das Wohnzimmer. Das ist der Living Room. Uh, hi, Alia! Jenny ist mein Zimmermädchen. Uh, danke, thank you. Muchas gracias. So, what did you learn from the challenge today? I learned that actually it's fine to be without phone and laptop and things like that, but it was really challenging still so, because I wanted to edit my videos and I wanted to read all the comments from my coming out video and it was really hard to like not look at my phone at all and not read anything. But at the same time, it, it was actually good for me. It was a Saturday, uh, today is Saturday, so for me it was kind of good to stay away and not work and not get worried about anything. So. It was kind of nice, but it was also challenging because I, I wanted to, for example, just listening to music, I, I, I hated that, that I couldn't just listen to music. I always do that on, on a plane, so that was hard and there were other little things which I wanted to look up or check and, and I couldn't do it. So it was also a strange feeling to ask people for help all the time, like what time is it? Oh, can you check this? And so on, that was funny, but it was also nice. I think I, I got a better... Like in a way, I also connected with people more because I was bored. So I always was walking around and talking to random people. So that was cool. Do you think that you conquered this fear of not having your phone and being disconnected? No, I didn't conquer. I think I would have to stay longer without my phone, to be honest, to conquer that. Because I still had a fear that my friend who was carrying my phone would lose it. <laughs> so. No, I haven't conquered that yet. I think also it wasn't maybe challenging enough in the like in, in a time frame. I think to to make this a real challenge it would have to be for maybe a week or something, then it would be actually challenging. It was still challenging but not as much as, as the coming out video that was like up here. This challenge was like yeah. <laughs> somewhere in the middle. Uh, maybe further down actually. <laughs> but that's good, I still did it. So okay. So let me know in the comments, what do you guys think about this challenge? Was it super easy? Would it be hard for you guys? Let me know in the comments. Could you go a whole day without your phone and without your laptop or any electronics, except for kitchen electronics maybe, you know, if you want to cook something, that's fine, but nothing which is connected to the internet. Could you guys do it? Let me know in the comments. Cheers.